Another victim of that standoff was Williams canine partner Grendel. He is recovering after he was shot in the abdomen. Grendel was not wearing a canine bulletproof vest. And as News 3's Brian, Brad Chameson tells us, it is one woman's mission to make sure this kind of injury does not happen again. When it's a high stress situation, he goes in first. Jim Donald depends on his partner to track down suspects and bring them into custody. His partner, Johnny, is a five-year veteran of the Madison Police Force. My life is dependent on him because I'm trusting him to, he, he's taken me into danger. I'm trusting him to let me know where that danger is before I get there. Like Donald, Johnny wears a bulletproof vest, offering protection from suspects he may be the first to encounter. Unfortunately, uh, uh, this year hasn't been a real good year for canines around the country. Um, there's been quite a few canine officers and canines that have been shot in the line of duty. Grendel, the canine shot in last week's Fond du Lac standoff, did not have a vest, but he's making a recovery. Donna Morgan is trying to make sure he and every police dog in the state are equipped with the same vests their handlers wear. We're actually exactly in the middle. We've gotten 119. As it stands today, we've got 119 left to go. Vesta Dog, her organization, raises money and purchases the vests for departments to provide peace of mind for the officers and safety for the dogs. She says the vests also protect the financial investment made for canine units. It's 51000 to uh, buy the dog, have the dog and the officer trained, and buy the police car. So you've got over a $50,000 investment. To not spend $840 to protect that investment doesn't make a lot of sense. Donald knows his partner has the tools to take down the bad guys, but when he's not working, Johnny is just part of the family. He comes home with me every night. He lives with me, um, so we're, we're together 24-7, and when he retires, he'll, he'll stay home as a pet. If you want to help your local police department receive vests for their police dogs, you can donate or find information at wivestadog.org. In the News Center, Brad Shameson, WISC News 3.